Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Mori's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing. Let's go to the city or Animal Crossing city folk and we're on a brand new week finally. Um, I have to apologize for the random uh, missing a few days, but we should be good now. Back to normal, double uploads as we would all expect. And um, so it's a new week and we've got quite a lot of little things to do today. Whoops, <laughs> just shaking my Wii remote around there. Um, didn't realize you could use the Wii remote to use the axe. It's pretty cool. Uh, I suppose it works the same way as the fishing rod. Anyway, today, oh my goodness, look at all the withered flowers. Um, yes, we've got quite a lot of clearing up to do, mostly inside our home. Um, we might even be selling some uh, bits and pieces. Let's see, what do we not need? Um, let's just keep these out for the time being. And this is our, these are our gifts from Cara Lee, the last episode. Um, but I think we're gonna just have a bit of a walk around, water these flowers, um, and then see who's about. And then we'll, sh we'll, sh we'll get on with what we need to do. We've got a bunch of fossils in the storage. Basically in preparation of having visitors, I just shoved everything in our storage in and in the house. So it's very messy. Uh, so we kind of need to get that sorted out and take those all to the um, to the museum. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I was hoping Wendell was going to be here because we didn't see Wendell last week. And it is Monday, it's a new week. Um, but it looks like we have Pascal on the bridge. But that's okay because we do like getting like the, uh, the ship and the pirate item. So it's always uh, nice to see Pascal anyway. Uh, maybe we'll have Wendell tomorrow. We've got two fish. Maury has two fish to give um, to give Wendell and as usual Mary is left with no fish so Mary will have to catch another fish um, but yes I'm excited to start a new week and get some of the things done that I've been meaning to do and just kind of been putting off because I'm a little bit lazy so mostly it's cleaning who likes cleaning uh, especially when it's in the storage it's kind of out of my mind as well so you you forget about it for like a week and then you're like oh yes must get on with the storage cleaning uh, and then you're like oh yes I probably should hey Apollo do you like my new hats no ball games don't tell me you just got up loafing about in bed on it's early well sort of it's midday what are you talking about uh, just a waste of good sunshine it is actually really sunny here as well Apollo so I'll give you that one Hey, did you see a stranger hanging around the bridge? You might have missed it. No, we walked right past them. Uh, the guy kept such a low profile. I walked right by him without noticing he was there. Wait a minute, I'm confused. You did notice him. How could you say you didn't notice him? There's something really fishy about that. Uh, there's no normal animal, that's for sure. Oh, that's just cruel. Gaston, hey. Oh. Have you noticed every time we're together, it looks like we're hatching some evil plan? Do you know what? It's actually true. I do. Gaston does look like a bit of an evil genius. Relax, Skippy. We're old friends and definitely not supervillains. That's what a supervillain would say. Of course we are. Pretty scary to compare, guys. Maybe we should think about becoming supervillains. I have got a new fear, and it's. Gaston and Apollo ganging up on us. Good idea, of course. We'll have to start practicing right away. Let's hear your villain laugh. Okay, how does this sound? Muhaha! <laughs> Very good, Gaston. I'm glad they're pleased with themselves. Very good. Evil plans, nice. Okay, that was entertaining. Right. Anyway, what were we doing? <laughs> Got sidetracked again. What was this? What's this? That was dandelion. That will disappear by itself. Uh, we've got a very special item today, the Dracania, I don't know how to say that, it's a plant I think. Uh, come check it out, that is today, isn't it? Yep, the 5th. Um, and Philbert's birthday. We missed Philbert's birthday. I don't know if we're supposed to be doing special things for villagers' birthdays. Um, I think we've had a couple before and nothing really happens. I don't know if you're supposed to send them a letter or something. Um, I don't know. Maybe if we send a letter in advance, find out their birthdays in advance. Maybe that's what you're supposed to do. It's just a bit strange that it's not acknowledged at all. Right, let's put the, we picked up some flowers, so we'll put these down here. Um, seven ball shirt. Where did we get the seven ball shirt from? I can't remember. 
Sunny gave us the white paw and the pineapple bed and our new hat. Oh, we bought the seven ball shirt. That's right. We bought it because we're collecting the number shirts. Because I'm wearing a five shirt. So we're going to put that in the storage probably somewhere. Any more withered flowers? No, uh, orange rose. Grow back, please. Okay, I like that we're six months in and we're still getting random soap operas like Gaston and Apollo teaming up to take over the town. Very good. Also, we're well and truly into June now, so we might see some new bugs as well. I should probably be watering every single flower, but let's hope for some rain in the next day or two. Okay, we're just going to slowly make our way around. The good news is most of our flowers are located within plots, so they're pretty easy to double check. And we need to write to the villagers this week because we're still on the lookout for cherries. Uh, any flowers withering? Did we water these ones? I can't remember. Oh, we better check the ones all the way down here as well. We're getting quite a few weeds now, which is good. Um, I'm starting to like letting the weeds do their thing. I don't think it really matters. Until we figure out all of our paths and then figure out the individual acres, which is another thing I'm putting off, by the way. Um, we don't really need to care about the weeds and they kind of look cool, just having extra detail around. So when we do finally work out the acres though, we will need to pick them all. It'll give us something to do. Uh, but in the meantime, I do kind of like just having them dotted around here and there. Okay, I think we've probably got them all. Is this Wendy's house, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we probably should see Wendy's house. Have we seen? I don't think we have seen Wendy's house, have we? Let's check out Wendy's house just in case. Um, maybe she, maybe it's a new house kind of interior that we haven't seen. Oh, it's more fruit furniture. Wait, where's Wendy? Oh, there you are. Hey, rocking the... Oh, no. Mary's sick. Okay, we're gonna have to go get some ice uh, ice cream. <laughs> well, ice cream might make her better, but we need to go get some medicine from Nooks. I don't know why I had ice cream on the brain. I think it's because I was thinking of ice shavings, because of using that little device. I'm not even sure if that's what it was, but I'd quite like to leave the little clovers everywhere as well. But I'm searching for a four-leaf clover. Maybe uh, when we find one, we can leave them. Oh yes, all of our gyroids. See, this is, the, this is exactly what we've got to clear away and go and donate. Um, we've got so much stuff laying around. Get these. Right. First things first. Double check the flowers. I've learned if I keep my finger on B, I can stop on paths, water, and then I can still run afterwards without picking the path up. It's just really hard to train yourself to do that. Uh, this area is ugly. We need some flowers down here. Uh, right. How much space have we got in our pockets? Not a lot. Let's put our things... Uh, actually, no, because we're going to go in there to empty it anyway. Let's go get some medicine first. Get this sorted. I think there's no flowers up here, is there? Whoa! Uh, you know, Skippy, I've been thinking about moving. I love the. Oh, yes. Um, Gladys already asked Mary to move, and we said yes. Mostly to free up the space behind us, although I'm now thinking we'd have to put a plot design there. Maybe it's better to have a house there. Uh, I just feel like I need a fresh start. That's cool. We wanted you to go. We've got to let you go. We need new people so we can get new interiors for flea markets. That's what I admire about you, Breezy. You're so bold, so decisive. I wish I'm more like that. In fact, maybe this is my opportunity to do exactly that. Maybe it is. Let's just have a, actually, we'll look on the way back. Um, get Easily get distracted. I'm just like going from one thing to another. Let's look at Gladys's house on the way back. Um, we need to take the medicine to Wendy and then we need to get on with our tidying. Still no silver rod. Uh, where is the medicine? Here we go. Yes, the medicine. It costs three uh, 380 bells. Quite a bargain. I'll take it. 
Wait, have we gone up a level? Uh, welcome to Nook Points Tracking System. Still remember. Visitor points. Let's see. How much are our total points? Here's your total points. 6,475. Current membership silver. Uh, we still need 3,000 points. Why was the medicine so cheap? Or has it always been that cheap? Weird. We'll be back, Nook, because we need to buy flowers. But we've got too much stuff in our pockets. Probably going to end up selling some fossils and gyroids anyway. Which will be good because we are, of course, still saving for Gracie furniture, which we're kind of trying to decorate our house with. So let's go and check out. Do you know what? I'm going to move these. They're always in the way. We need to start fixing this area here. So we'll put them here. There we go and give them a little water. We're going to have to stop walking through here, I think. Gladys is home. Yeah, we haven't done Gladys. How do, how, all this time, how have we forgotten to do Gladys is home? Um, oh, my Wii remote's glitching. Um, let's see here. There we go. Sometimes I get the order right. Um, and we should be able to do three of these. And two here, through the corner. And if we stand here, I should be able to do the whole corner. So this is going to be one of these, and it's going to go to one of those. Ah, oh, I got it the wrong way around. Nearly. If Gladys is moving soon, we don't even need to give her a garden. I imagine she'll be gone in the next day or two. Um, so we'll, we'll, once Gladys is left, we'll join it up then. Oh, sorry, I've got an itchy foot for some reason. <laughs> Never had that happen before. Right. Uh, well, I've had an itchy foot before. I just—I <laughs> mean, while recording. Anyway, let's go inside. Oh no, let's go to Wendy's. Get other. Ah, otherwise I'm gonna forget. And we've got the medicine. Um, I don't know if we need like two lots of medicine. Sometimes we, well last time we did it, it didn't work. We gave a sick village the medicine and, and it didn't even heal them. Um, but yeah, Wendy's house, not the best looking house. It's kind of a mixture of outside, which kind of makes sense because she's a sheep. Um, so you've got the grass and the fencing and that. Um, and the mixture of fruit and kitty furniture is always, always fun. But I don't know if I go much on I, sp oh, I suppose it's a bit of a summer kind of camping area. Maybe it's just the stereo that's out of place. Yeah. Anyway, here we go, Wendy. So, uh, sick lambkin starting to, like, see stuff. Ah, a ghost! A ghost? Hmm. I'm not a ghost. <laughs> uh, take your medicine and like it. Wow, thanks, you're so nice! Be funny if we could accidentally give her something different. Here's a sea bass. <laughs> oh, uh, maybe the sleep ghosts will leave me alone now. Sleep ghosts? What on earth are sleep ghosts? Is that like when you get sleep paralysis? Are you sleepwalking? Did did the medicine sell out? Can we get can we get some more? I think I'm feeling a little better. Not amazing, but better. It'll probably. That'd be a good idea to drink that medicine. Uh, it's probably a good idea, even if it tastes like asphalt. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know if we're supposed... Yeah, this is what happened last time. I don't know if we're supposed to go and get another one. Next time we go to Nooks, if I remember, we'll pick up another one. If it, I can't remember if it sells sells out, like the flowers, or if it's just there. You can, like the paper, and you can just buy unlimited. Um, anyway, right, let's get on with some jobs. Some chores. Try not to get too distracted. Just down the path here. Whoop. Who's that? Ah, we'll not worry about those. Right. We've got to go and put some things away. Uh, we've got a... Actually, we've got the pineapple bed that we can put upstairs. Which will be perfect for our fruit-themed house or room. Um, this is... It was going to be our feng shui, but we're going to bring this all back downstairs at some point. Um, what have we got here? Let's move some of these around. Uh, pockets are full. No. 
Too many gyroids. Um, okay. Okay, we'll put the bed in the corner, actually. Hopefully go I knew it was going to do that. <laughs> I knew it was going to go the wrong way around. Um, how do I grab this thing without jumping in? There we go. Um, do you know what? Ah! It's so hard to work with our pockets. Right, so let's, I can't remember where all our fossils are. in here somewhere. We're going to just put the gyroids with them so we've got a bit of space to work with. It's really hard when you're trying to move things around. You've just got full pockets everywhere. Oh. Right, is there anything else we want to go in here? Star cap. Um, we could probably sell the star cap. Melon chair we want to keep. White pawn we need to put in the basement, although we are going to change that. We're going to keep that out. Apple clock and, oh yes, the Triforce and the Lucky Cat. So these do all need to go back down. Okay. Um, there we go. I was just That's what I was trying to do. Um, so we want the melon chair to go back. And the other melon chair in here, if it all fits. Where is it? Melon chair. This is a bit squished. I wish we could get bigger rooms. The gold cat can go back in the corner. We need to put the melon chair over here somewhere. Um, not really anywhere. I think just for now, we're going to have to rearrange. We definitely want to keep it out because it's, oops, not that one. Um, oh, it wasn't a melon chair, was it, was it the apple clock? What did I pick up? Oh, was it the Triforce? It must be the Triforce. I thought I picked up another item. Oh, is it the Apple Clock? Oh, it's the Apple Clock. Was it? I'm so confused. Right, we'll put the Apple Clock over here then. It'll just have to go there, I think, for now. We, we need to sort these out a little bit. Um, oh, they're definitely... Yeah, it's too crowded up here. Too crowded. We'll have to deal with this later. Just make sure we've got nothing else in here. The white pawn could then go downstairs. Okay, let's put this in the basement. Yeah, we need to we need to actually clean some stuff out of our house as well, not just the storage. Um, we've got so much stuff everywhere. I think the hybrids are gonna have to go outside. But that's okay. This is stuff we, we can do. This is what we're here for today, pretty much. We'll do the gyros and the fossils first though. Pawn, we definitely need so that can just go probably here. Um, yeah, seven ball shirt we're gonna keep, so I'll put it out on display. What's this fish here? I don't think we need that fish. Seven ball shirt. Star cat can be sold. Dates can be sold. Uh, yes, that's right. All these bugs we caught, June bugs. We need to donate those. Ah, oh, it feels good to tidy up a little bit. Get rid of them. That eel we need to give to um, Wendell. We'll keep the koi because it's kind of cool for now. We will turn back this back into a space station, I think, at some point. Okay, so that's cleaned up this area a little bit. Um, in fact, this bonsai could probably go as well. There we go. That will do for now, for this area. So that can, they can be sold, they can be donated. And we just need to get some, I wish we had more space in our pockets. We need to get all of the stuff out as well. Let's put the hybrids outside. There's, there's just not enough room in here, is there? Hybrids can go outside. Um, a painting that we need to donate. 
It's so messy. Um, this little thing's pretty cool. That will probably end up going in the basement, but we'll just put it there for now so I don't forget about it. In fact, we're going to put it over here next to the Pikmin helmet, just for now. Right, that is all we need from here for the moment. We'll have to come back, I think, to get our gyroids and fossils. So we'll go and we'll sell what we need to sell. We'll donate what we need to donate, which was left over from when we first started in June. There was a whole new load of bugs flying around. We caught loads of them. Oh, there's a pond skater as well. Have we got a net on us? Oh, we have. Have we, have we done a pond skater before? Oh, it's, oh no. Quick, get it. I think that's new as well. Okay, let's get to Blathers. I'm glad Apollo's happy today. Oh, he's changed his shirt. He's normally the grumpy one. Right, we'll go and sell, uh, go and donate what we need to donate first, just to clear some space. Um, and then we can sell the remainder, and then we should have enough to space to carry all of the fossils and gyroids. Hopefully. Woo, hectic. <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon, I'm a bit of a night owl. In any case, allow me to welcome you to Moriland Museum. Now then, may I assist you? Yes. Donation, please. Um, so let's see here. We'll start with the. We'll just start at the top. Agri, Agrius, Agrius butterfly. I must commend you for catching this particular type of butterfly. Yeah, that was super fast. It was flying across the screen. It's such a swift flyer that most enthusiasts who attempt to catch one re, uh, rely on traps. I dare say I'd lose a race with this fluttering thing. Oh, flittering thing. <laughs> There we go. I'm glad Blathers has taken these bugs. Feels good to donate to the museum again. Done a butterfly. I don't think we've done a butterfly. We'll just check them all. The pond skate we might have done. Can't remember if that's a new one or not. Uh, okay, taking the Blathers taken the dragonfly as well. These two are definitely new we caught two eels one we've kept for wendell we've got also a I can't remember, it's angel fish or something upstairs that we're also donating this is also new lantern fly like a giant moth thing i think it was huge it literally flapped when it flew away uh, on another one i dare say that's a lantern fly Insects rather bother me. Touching them strikes is quite revolting. It is said that the diet of a sap from the lychee tree makes the bodily fluids of the lantern fly sweet. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that one. It's also said that anyone who does those things is officially uh, googly woogly out of control of his or her mind. <laughs> yes, I don't fancy eating a moth. Right, we'll leave the painting till last. I'll just double check this pond skater. I may as well check the dace. Oh, pond skater has already been donated. Oh, I thought it was new. It must, we must have done that really early then, I think. Uh, we'll just check the dace as well, because I wonder why I had it in my house. Maybe we kept it for a fishing tourney or something. Yeah, dace has already been donated. That's fine. We can sell those. And now we just check the jolly painting. This is what we got off last minute from Red. Um, from Mary bought it from Red actually, but Maury's gonna donate it if it's real and needed. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, I finally see a true glory that makes a pass by crowd. What a jolly painting! I must find a spot to, uh, with proper lighting to do this beauty justice. I don't know, Blathers doesn't really say anything about paintings, does he? Um, is there statues in this game? There mustn't be, is it's just all paintings. Uh, right, so that's left us with everything we need to sell apart from our hybrids and our pink coronation. Just gonna put these outside for the time being. We'll probably end up picking them up again because I know I don't want to lose them. Uh, but we just haven't. Oh, can we put them in our storage actually? Maybe we could leave them for Mary to put in Mary's storage. Let's put them somewhere here where we won't likely run over them for now. Um, 
There we go. They should be pretty safe there. Let's just give them a water as well, since they've been inside a couple weeks. Okay, now we can go and sell the stuff in our pockets. And we should have plenty of space, hopefully, to get all the gyroids and the fossils out of the storage, free up some storage space, because Mori's literally got no storage space left. Um, and then we could hopefully make a bit of money off it as well. But you definitely want to get rid of the bonsai. No need for that, really. Yeah, I'm really liking my hat, and it goes perfect with our number five shirt at the moment, so we'll keep this. Um, we haven't seen it. I wonder if it's a DLC item. We haven't seen it available. We did get the shirt once, because the, the shirt is what we wore with the Pikmin outfit, I think. Gives the Alpine look. Alright, we'll do Pascal at the end as well. Uh, how much space have we got in our letters? Probably not a lot of space. Um, from Chip, Tom Nook. Oh yes, we need to order some more blue furniture as well, don't we? Reconnect, Happy Room Academy, Happy Room Academy, Reconnect, okay. Let's see if we can check our mail. Happy Room Academy, it's probably just a score, yeah, 72! Not too bad, we have broke the, uh, the 70,000 mark. Tom Nook as well, okay. Uh, oh, from Wendy. Hide and seek was totally awesome. Next time I'm going to dig a big hole and you can't ever find me. Okay, I'll believe it when I see it. Um, a gyroid? Uh, oh, enclosed, please find the hopscotch. That's right, this is our DLC item. We gave ours to Sunny. That was just us replacing it. So we'll put that back in storage in exchange for the gyroids and the fossils. Okay, we're getting somewhere slowly. I do want to declutter the entire house. I don't know whether just to scrap the feng shui altogether and just forget it, because it really limits you. Like upstairs is just a mess. Um, like, what's the word? Like, um, for, for stats and data, it's a great room. Visually, it's horrible. <laughs> okay, where is our stuff here? This is all the ship stuff. This is the DLC stuff there, I think. Leaf box of tissues, nook and go. Oh yeah, we've got a nook and go model as well. I forgot. Maybe we should bring the regal stuff out. Should we get rid of the stuff upstairs and make a nice regal room? I feel like we should do that. Just use the, just use different furniture, I guess. Right, let's get all the gyros out. This is gonna take a long time. Um. Okay, we might have to drop some tools. Two more. We could probably get rid of the timer. There, we put our slingshot away for the first time ever. What's the betting Gulliver comes past now? <laughs> Hopefully we can carry the last of the fossils. Yeah, whoo! Perfect! <laughs> Let's go and see how much we can donate and how much we can sell. I imagine out of six fossils, maybe we might get lucky and be able to donate one. And out of however many gyroids, I don't even know. It really depends. I think we're coming close to the end of gyroids now. Um, there's a fossil there actually we just walked past, but we haven't got any space. Okay, here we go. Should we do, we'll do Blathers, we'll do uh, Brewster first actually. Just because Blathers is a little bit more long winded. Once you get started donating or like storing gyroids with Brewster, it goes pretty quickly. 
Well, well, that's a lovely gyro you have there. Which one? Okay, let's see. We've got two, four, six, eight, nine we've had. Let's see how many we can donate. That's the thing that actually the gyro collection is huge. We're probably nowhere near completing it because every every single family has got at least three gyroids, hasn't it? Pretty much. Uh, uh, what was that? A quasoid. Puffoid? Ah, oh, here we go. At least Brewster's polite about it. That's two. What's this? A clankoid? Mini clankoid. Lullabaloid. I just I can't remember if the storage sorts them into categories or if it's just as you donate them. Dingloid, that's what we just got. Ah, oh, we've donated it. Hands off. Okay, let's have a little look at the story, see what it's doing. I don't think it gives you a tally or anything. No, it's just... Oh, is it even in order? Oh, they do put them in families. Oh, this is a weird one. That's terrifying! Two toys. <laughs> Buzzoid. Oh, that's a pretty cool one. That's one we had at the very start. Howloid. Another terrifying one. Oh, poor thing, it just looks like it's in pain. Gongoid. Polteroid. Is that a ghost? Actually, gyros are pretty scary in this game. <laughs> Maybe it's because they're big on screen. Oh, gargaloid. Yeah, we've done quite a lot. Whoa! <laughs> Freak freakoid. Yeah, we've done quite a lot. We're doing pretty well. Okay, let's get on with the fossils. Um, so we've got six fossils. Hopefully we can donate at least one. Uh, as always, we're going through the donation method. It's, qu it's quicker than... If you're planning on donating it, if the museum needs it, it's just quicker to go through the donate path. Cuts a bunch of dialogue. Um, but if you want to assess it, and then might want to keep it even though you need to donate it, it's best to get it checked first. Uh, Trilobite, yeah, Trilobite's definitely already been donated. Fossil. Please do, please. Reluctant Beauty to remain anonymous. An Anklo Torso. Oh, who wanted a, was it an Anklo Torso? Someone wanted one last week, didn't they? Oh, that's a shame. If we'd have appraised it last week when we had it, we could have handed it over. Although they'd have put it in their house, and then we'd have to buy it back in the flea market. Okay, two down. This is the third one. A seismo skull. Yeah, I think at the last count we were only needing like, was it six or eight fossils? So the chances of us finding a new one, pretty slim actually. I'm still not sure how they're calculated, if it's random when you dig up the fossil or if it's random at this point. I always felt like in previous games, in like the GameCube version, that you would get rarer fossils from other people's towns. I don't know if that was just the way it felt, or if there was any truth to that. Oh, finally! What was it? A Dimitri Don is complete! And the Dimitri Don was from a period early in the history of the dinosaurs. The point of fact, it's not even a real dinosaur. That's because it could regulate body temperature unlike other dinosaurs. How do they know this stuff? The Dimitri Don, is, am I saying that right? Did so by using its distinctively shaped shaped back. Indeed, that is why it's considered what some call a mammalian reptile. Ooh, I beg your pardon, I was enthralled. No worries. I'm glad uh, Blathers only talks to us once the dinosaur is complete though. Okay, so that's 
One out of four so far. Let's see if we can do another one. Yes, you may check. An Iguodon torso. It's already been donated. Okay. One out of five so far. Last one then. And then we can sell these. It's good though, because it's going to be worth a lot of bells. So maybe tomorrow we can head to the city. And... Um... Buy a Gracie item, hopefully. Plessio neck. Yep. Okay, one out of six. That wasn't bad. What? Um, we donated seven gyroids and one dino, uh, one fossil, I believe. Pretty good. Right, let's get our thing out. Uh, where's the net? Must be this one. Okay, cool. Okay, so we can sell these and it's pretty much pure profit. We've just been sitting on them for a while, so it doesn't really mean anything. Um, it's better just to have the bells at this point, I think. I've never been one for putting fossils in my house. I think I said this the other day. I do kind of like some of them, like the raptor and the T-Rex, just because they're like well-known dinosaurs. Um, and they look kind of cool. But I don't think even then, I don't think I would put it in my house. That's why I, I really like Cyrus's feature from New Leaf, where you can make a model out of them. Okay, five fossils. Oh no, it was six gyroids we donated, sorry. Six, uh, six, gy uh, six gyroids and one fossil. Ooh, 20,000 bells. Nice. Right, we'll finish up by buying the flowers and the trees. Uh, we'll have to leave the interior of the house to another day, but we've definitely got to do that. Please vote what you would like to see upstairs. I don't know whether we should just get rid of all that stuff and just not worry about feng shui. <laughs> Excuse me, feng shui yet? Or... Whether we should keep it. I don't think it really affects us. The room's a little bit too small. Without doing the feng shui downstairs as well, it's kind of pointless. I'm getting the urge to turn it into a regal room. We've always got a record of it. If we ever want to change it back, I guess we could always look at a video and go back to the design. Uh, so let me know your thoughts on that anyway. We're definitely going to do something spacey downstairs, um, probably. Maybe move around our main room a little bit because that's getting a bit messy. Right, I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to put this. These here. And I'm going to use the last of the flowers to start healing this grass down here. Oh, we need to do Pascal as well. Mustn't forget. He's waiting very patiently. Yeah, this area is... Yuck. <laughs> we need to heal the grass. Uh, oh. Right, luckily, I think... Do you know what? Let's search the beach for a scallop. I think we've got one or two in storage, but... We should probably do a beach run at some point as well, just to clear those foss uh, those shells up. There's usually a scallop nearby when, uh, there we go, <laughs> first one, when Pascal is here. Be pretty harsh not to. Right, there we go. Man, breathing air feels pretty good. Can I share something with you? Uh, okay. Uh, did you know they have diamonds that can cut other diamonds? Totally, total freak out, man. Right on. Yeah, that's the thing. Wh which, wh what cut the first diamond? <laughs> hey, hook an author up with a scallop, would you? Okay, there you go. I wonder ha what happens if you have like three scallops on you. Look, man, this is this here. I'm giving it to you. Thank you. What did you give us? A barrel. I think we already have a barrel. 
But maybe it would be good to have two barrels. That's done. Hey, is that the barrel you've got there? Brand new? Yeah, it is, yeah. New and in mint condition. Can I borrow for you for, say, three th uh, 300? No, sorry, Gaston. Oh, I get it. Sentimental value, eh? Understood. I won't bug you about it again. Oh, you took it pretty well, actually. Okay, we'll just see Pascal fall off the waterfall for fun. Whee! <laughs> It's always good to watch it go down there. There we go. I think that's a good place to wrap it up. Uh, we've done pretty uh, all productive things today. We watered all of the withered flowers that I noticed anyway. Uh, patiently waiting for the rain. Hopefully we get some rain soon. Not often we need that. We've got so many flowers now. It's just easier for it to rain. Um, and we hopefully helped Wendy out with some medicine. And we did a little bit of tidy up. Got rid of the gyros laying around. Got everything uh, that we could donate to the museum out of the house and the storage including like uh, bugs and fish and fossils and gyros. So pretty good episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see that we maybe haven't done in a little while. Um, and I hope you're just still enjoying this series as a whole. Please let me know your feedback below. And don't forget to let me know what you'd like to see done with the upstairs room. I uh, still don't know whether to keep it feng shui and just move it around a little bit or just get rid of it altogether and maybe make kind of a regal room or something. Maybe we should go back to basics and actually make it look like a house. I think that would be kind of fun. But let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, of course, to the channel members for making all this happen. Couldn't do it without you. You're so important to this channel. And I hope you know how much you're appreciated. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.